Hi, welcome to Angular Developer. In this course, we are going to see how to build Angular applications with NGRX. We'll begin with an introduction to state management and look at the benefits. Then, we'll have a look at the Redux pattern, the three core principles, and the reasons to use a centralized store in our application. After that, we'll explore NGRX and build our own application using the NGRX store library and other libraries that complement it, explaining each one of them in the context of the application. We'll also see how to use strong typing to prevent errors during development, how to debug our application, and we'll have a look at some best practices for performance and scalability. By the end of this course, we'll have built a small application where we'll be able to create, read, update, and delete items from the server while using a centralized store for state management. I really hope that this course will give you everything you need to know to start building Angular applications with NGRX. It contains best practices and a lot of information that will be very helpful when building your future projects. For more information, please visit angulardeveloper.io. So let's begin with an introduction to state management and the Redux pattern. What is the state? The state is a representation of the application. It can be user information, like the username and email, for example. It can also be user input and selection, when the user interacts with our application. It can be data that we get from the server. It can also be view state or UI state, information about the view. It can be location state or router state, where we are in our application, or any other information that the application tracks. This is an example of a slice of a state taken from a real application. As we can see, the state tree is an object containing all the information that the application needs. In this example, we see one slice of a state for a specific feature, the customer's feature. As the application grows in complexity and gets larger, it becomes more difficult to manage multiple types of state and react to changes, losing predictability and creating bugs that are hard to find. So the Redux pattern was introduced to make state mutations predictable. It's basically a state container and it follows three core principles. Principle number one, single source of truth. Quoting Dan Abramov, author of Redux, the first principle of Redux is that everything that changes in your application is contained in a single object that we call the state or the state tree. The second principle of Redux is that the state is read-only. The only way to change the state tree is by dispatching an action. An action is a plain JavaScript object describing in the minimal way what changed in the application. The third principle of Redux is that all changes in the state are made by pure functions called reducers. To illustrate the Redux pattern, let's have a look at this image. When the user interacts with our application, an action is dispatched. The reducer responds to the action being dispatched, takes the current state of the application from the store, and performs an operation. It could be, for example, adding one item to the list. Then, the reducer returns the new state, replacing the old state in the store. The main benefit of the Redux pattern is predictability. The state is immutable, so it can't be changed. We need to create copies of the state using a reducer that will update it. This process makes mutations predictable and the application is easier to inspect and test. We are not going to explore Redux in detail in this course. Instead, we are going to focus on how to use the Redux pattern in our Angular application with NGRX. But if you want to know more about Redux, I highly recommend that you watch the free course created by the author, Dan Abramov, where he demonstrates these principles in depth. In the next video, we look at NGRX and start developing our first application. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, smash the like button if you like it, and share this course with any person that might be interested.